अच्छे 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 I get the thumbs up from TK back there. Check, check. Ready to go? All right. All right. We're going to get the show started, you guys. Thanks for coming out to Live at Ted's. For those who haven't been here, this is a listening room of Wilmington. Well, it's the only one, um, which means we, we get to be quiet and really get to focus on the musicians, the music, and original music at that. Um, this is Voice in the Pen, singer-songwriter showcase. Um, we're super excited to have a new act tonight we have not had on our show yet. So thanks to Courtney and Quinn for uh, introducing us to Fall Lift. And um, we're going to kick the show off with them. Um, and I'm assuming Lola is probably going to play up here with you as well. <laughs> um, again, thank you guys so much for coming. You're in for a great show. Um, we'll bring you guys up here now and uh, we'll get started. Thanks so much. How are y'all doing? It's also okay if you're not woo. <laughs> it's a spectrum. All right. We're Fall Lift. My name's Micah. That's Steven. That's Lola. And uh, we're out of Charlotte, North Carolina, but we're good friends with Courtney Lynn and Quinn, and we're happy to be here with you. And it's our first time at Live at Ted, so thanks. Double big for that. trail, no trace to find, and heavy as hell and quiet as night. You found a scent to follow, a path to a new life, waiting and waiting. Tom thinks we're free falling, but I got reason to believe that we're all just crawling out through the darkness. Begins of light. So 
Thanks, y'all. That's a tune called Geronimo Minor. It's going to be coming out this month in like two or three weeks on the yeah. 28th. Yeah. We'll be in yeah. Arkansas. Nice for everyone not doing the back end work. <laughs> 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 yeah, <we all. laughs> I'd be real glad when that comes out. <laughs> but yeah, it's coming out April 28th if y'all want to check out the full band version. We uh, had some really good players on that one, so we're happy to have them. Anywhere, you know, you know, you just pull out your handy dandy phone. We do have a QR code that can, it's like a little magical thing. They'll take you anywhere you want to go, including like our website or anything like that. Um, There's winning lottery numbers in that QR code. There if might be. You guys want to check it out. There might be. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll be, uh, we have a newsletter, we have our socials, our website, all of the music can be found there. So this next tune, um, I started writing during the pandemic, I think, in the uh, Smoky Mountains. I act like I don't know the story. Um, <laughs> he was never there. <laughs> we don't play this song all the time. Um, so yeah, I, I escaped when the world shut down. Um, the band I was in shut down. And I went to go see a different world that I haven't been in before, which was like a two-week trip hiking through the app trail. And um, it kicked my ass, but it was life-changing in all the best ways. But I did not finish this song. And um, then we met during the pandemic. And I was like, I have this beautiful song about this magical place. It's totally not finished. And uh, we should go to back to that magical place. And totally finish it. And totally finish <laughs> the song. There's the story. There you go, guys. But we did return. We did our own little multi-day, like four or five day hike. And we uh, eventually finished the song. Mm -hmm. And it's totally based on. Totally. Um, <laughs> I mean, it is based on the Smoky Mountains. It's a magical place. And we're so creative, we called it Mountain Song. As my melody trickles down the treetops And the wind it blows beneath my feet and through my socks And the sun is shining Everything is fine In my voice it throws down this rocky road And it carries on like a heavy load Through the springtime And 
and everything is fine. I don't want to go back down. I just want to stay another day. I don't want to live so loud. Thanks, y'all. While we're in the mountains, metaphorically. <laughs> the same trip. The same The same life-changing trip. Life -changing oh, trip. <laughs> Great segue. Um, it was not only full of just immense beauty that very few people get to see in their lifetimes, it was also full of immense doubt and I've never heard him tell the story this way guys I'm loving it go ahead <laughs> <laughs> um, so much doubt holy crap uh, well when you're in a when you're kind of choosing a path like music in your life that's kind of against the grain mo <laughs> most parents don't understand <laughs> and when you choose something like to go out into the wilderness where there's two bears every square mile and uh, no civilization. It's also hard to understand, I think, from a parental <laughs> perspective. But also other people. It's not just the parents. It's, it's kind of like a societal thing. And so this trip was life-changing in so many ways because I had to really face these demons and um, kind of like, what is it? Fly or die or something? <laughs> Fight or flight? Fight or <coughs> flight, yes. I say that as if I don't forget normal words like pillow. 
Continue. Fight or flight. We're fighting the system. Yes. I like this. We're bucking the system, guys. We're doing whatever we want. So this song is um, dealing with those thoughts, I think. One step at a time. Trying to find a shelter from the storm Fear is rising Trying to find a shelter from the norm Am I wasting my time? Am I wasting my life? I'm not wasting my time I'm not wasting my Also, during that trip, on the very first day, a thunderstorm smashed us, and we went up, we went eight miles up 3,000 feet, and like physically, that was not something my body was prepared for, and mentally, I'm afraid of heights and thunderstorms in the wilderness. It was crazy. <laughs> anyway, but us meeting during this kind of time period. <laughs> Segue. Magical in its own way. Um, this next tune is the first tune we ever wrote together, and it was kind of subconsciously wrote about each other. Yeah. In the forefront, we were like, no, this is just business. <laughs> <laughs> we were mulleting the whole relationship. It was very like, we met, I was, um, I'm a little flighty. I like to travel. I've, I've, yeah. And um, so we, I had originally come to him with the idea of like, hey, let's m write some music, maybe casually, just have some co-written tunes and that'll be it. And then I was like, maybe we could do like a one-off album and now we're in a band. <laughs> and <laughs> like, but this song, um, yeah, I started writing it 
and I realized it would make a great duet. And I was already writing it. I don't want to say subconsciously because I knew I was writing it about him. Um, but we weren't talking about that. We weren't discussing that at the time. Not until we got in the studio was he like, did you write this song for me? And I was like, I, did you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, oh. No, I'm just kidding. Of course, I was like, Maybe. of course, yes. You're cute. Please keep singing. <laughs> anyway, um, this is called Belfast. Songbird out of tune. Well, I'm terrified. I never felt more alive than on my best day. I'm open and I'm bare. I'm doing it scared anyway. sing a tune but her company would be nice if that's something we could do please only tell me everything I'm here to hear you we so me Songbird out of tune. Well, I'm terrified. I never felt more alive than on my best day. I'm open and I'm bare. I'm doing it scared. Never felt more alive than on my best day. 
So Stephen and I, after we uh, finished flirting and decided that we were going to talk about stuff. We were like a week out from the studio of our first record of mm. songs. That was a timeline. I forgot all about that. Easter egg fact. <coughs> yeah, our EP Sunday Sessions, shameless plug, it's available everywhere. You can buy it. You can buy it now. You can buy it later. You can do it for free online, whatever. Um, we were a week out from recording it, and we had gotten in a little bit of a tiff. At this point, we had been dating a bit, and we had moved in together, and we got a little bit of a tiff, and we didn't discuss, we didn't come to a resolve, and um, that's kind of against my rule of going to bed with, without speaking. Is I don't like that. We can talk. It, we don't have to talk nicely. We don't have to go through the whole thing. It can just be like, hey, good night. I hope you have nightmares. See you in the morning. <laughs> like, it can be that. And that's fine, but just an acknowledgement that we are still together and in this, and like, we don't hate each other. So we didn't do that. And uh, I got up the next morning, and I was still kind of bummed. But I picked up the mandolin, and he went into the music room, and I went into the living room, and I started writing this song, and I came back into the music room and said, hey, I've got this song. And he goes, wait, I'm sorry. And I was like, no, no. I was like, I'm writing a song about it right now. Just put it in the song. Let's not talk about it yet. Let's just put it in the song. So we did. And this song is simply just a song of us apologizing to each other for being idiots. <laughs> for being children. It's real cute. This is called The Fallout. I'm sorry for the things that I say Can't make it simpler than that I won't bury in my rhymes Or make you read between the lines Wanna say this as clear as I can sorry for the things you had to hear Cause I was running my mouth too much after those fears Blinded by the good times Disguised on the stage lights And if we want to move forward let's start right here Is a price we pay for silence and being alone. So I'll try my best to say it. My pride will try and fade it. My love, I'm sorry for the things that I've done. It's the fallout. Peace takes love, and someone willing to be let down. Darling, we come 
too far not to give it our best now. So please hear me when I say, when I say, yeah. The hardest part isn't the fight, it's the fallout. Please take slow. There's someone willing to be let down. Darling, we come too far not to give it our best now. So please hear me when I say, when I say, Do we have time for one more? I don't know what that time is. One more. Now's your chance. <laughs> so this next tune, um, this last tune, we haven't released this one either, but we wanted to play it for you guys. It's a real intimate tune, so we thought this might be the place for it. Um, we feel like part of our responsibility as songwriters is to sing and write about things that um, can't normally be spoken about as easily, that conversations are hard, but the topic can be eased through music. And um, I think when it's natural for us to write about relationships because we're in one, it's easy for us to reflect on that. Um, but we both had some pretty gnarly breakups before meeting each other that um, propelled our lives in directions they would not have gone otherwise for the best, we think. And they both shared a quality, both of these breakups shared the quality that we don't really have the option to find closure in them. Um, we don't get to have the conversations that would bring that for us. And so we wrote a song for ourselves to give ourselves that closure and to ask all the things that we couldn't. So this is called Questions I Can't Ask. Thanks for having us. We're fallen. <laughs> some peace I know that I've got nothing here to grieve even so I've lost my mind and memory that a love we made will not stay you've been 
questions I can ask, like where's your head, am I on your mind, how's the cold, and did you learn to fly, nights are cold, is someone by your side, is someone by your Thanks so much, y'all. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Live at Ted's, and thank you, Courtney, Lynn, and Quinn, and we love you so much. Thanks for having us. Yeah. And thank you all fine folks for supporting such a wonderful music community here in Wilmington. They have some merch. <laughs> There's merch. We have some merch. Where's the merch? On the table. Over here to the right. Over here to the right. We got records. We got all kinds of things. We got stickers. Stickers, patches, iron on if you're fancy. Yeah. Yo, one more time for <laughs> Fall Live. Thank you so much for sharing your music with us. <laughs> so I was thinking as you were playing about what your musical pasts might have been like mm -hmm. and when you each started writing why and how that sort of shaped where you are, maybe how you've molded each other musically. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Um, I have been singing longer than I've been speaking because I don't like talking to people. Um, I do now. We're good now. You can talk to me all you want now. <laughs> as a child, I didn't. And uh, my dad was a musician, a uh, singer, songwriter as well, multi-instrumentalist. And so growing up, he noticed that I just kept gravitating that way. And so we used that to communicate in the beginning when I was a kid. And then when I was about nine or 10, I said, I wanna write my own music. I don't wanna just sing anyone's songs. I got something to say. <laughs> and um, he said, oh, okay, uh, sure. I love that, love that, right? So we, uh, I wrote my first song around 10 or so, and I've been playing music my whole life. And it's for me, my truest form of communication. Um, I feel like I can express what I mean best in that way. So I've just been doing that the whole time. I tried other things. I'm not good at this. I like this. <laughs> it, it comes across. <laughs> what about you? Oh, me. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I didn't have that, that parental um, inspiration. I keep bashing on my parents. I do love them very much. They're great people. They're very supportive. <laughs> um, I started... And I found an old guitar in my house that had three strings on it. That's what I started on. And uh, 
I also started drums around the same time. We have his first drum cymbals in our house. Cardboard boxes and like random tin lids to like old 90s trash cans or something. Yes. <laughs> um, my parents were just like, I think he wants to play music or something. I don't know what he's doing over <laughs> there. But, <laughs> uh, but I, I've been playing in a band. I played in bands growing up with friends. I played in my church. Um, I've always been interested in writing because my one of my best friends that got me started in music at like 13 on guitar also was a writer and he still is a good writer even though he's not pursuing music in any way uh, besides sending me random voice messages <laughs> 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 of him like jamming in his basement or something. Um, I just had a fever for it and my brother and I started a band in 2012 that we kind of toured uh, na- a little bit nationally, mostly regionally, called Swim in the Wild. We played down here quite a few times. Mm-hmm. It's been it's been good. And then um, we all took that COVID punch in the gut, and uh, luckily she was there to catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have music coming out? We do. We're releasing several singles this year. Um, but we have Geronimo Minor coming out April 28th, and... Three more coming out the rest of the year, so we're we're spreading them out seasonally for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. For myself, we're spreading them out seasonally for me. <laughs> and the algorithm, let's be honest. <laughs> the games we play. <laughs> well, congratulations on all your success. Thank you for sharing your music with us. We are grateful to have you here as part of the Voice and Pen. Y'all, ball lift. Thank you so much for being an awesome Thank audience. You. Thank you for sharing your space. Follow their social media. we got Courtney Lynn and Quinn coming up in a few minutes. Just give us a moment to change the stage over, and we'll be right back. Thank you.
right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Voice in the Pen here in Wilmington, North Carolina at Live at Ted's. We are really, really thrilled to have back to The Voice in the Pen, Courtney Lynn and Quinn. We are so grateful that you all are here, and we can't wait to hear your music, so I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. What do you guys think about Fall Lift? Oh, my gosh. You know, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's the, the season in my life. I'm getting old, guys. <laughs> I actually forgot how old I was today. This is no joke. You had to literally go like, like, wait, this year to this year am I this, this age or am I am I thirty am I thirty six or thirty seven? She was like, no, you're thirty seven. I was like, oh god, dang. Okay, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it's young thirty seven. In her defense, but anyway, I I don't know. Growth makes you get in your feels a little bit more. Uh, you know, it makes you learn things and feel things and experience things differently. And uh, it, it, we're in a season right now, musically and and family-wise and just, you know, life-wise, we're kind of making some transitions. And Fall Lift, I just want to say that your music speaks to the general public and also it spoke to me tonight. There were a lot of things that you guys said in your songs, your storytelling that really resonated with me and I actually cried on a couple of your songs. No joke. So thank you so much for sharing your talents and your stories and your music and uh, for being a part of tonight. Thank you all for being here. We're Courtney Lennon Quinn. We can't wait to share. And Voice and Pen, I just bought your hat. Love it. So cute. You guys can buy one as well. Um, thank you for having us again. So here we go. Oh, the mute button. I can music. <laughs> Walking so broken glass My blood trickles out you just walk on past me till my heart turns in the stone. I break out the cold sweats. Thought of letting you go. Oh, my wandering soul. I am making for your touch. I'm in a foreign land. Say you've had enough. thoughts of you sink deep within my bones, my wandering soul. Oh, my heart is growing colder and oh, the light very dim, but I can't seem to
Thanks, guys. Thank you. We're shaking off some rust, if you can't tell. <laughs> we haven't played a show in a minute, and I think this is the best <sighs> way to, to re-enter yeah. um, music playing for us. Uh, we yeah. love this venue. You know, online, we say this is one of our favorites, but between us and you, it's our favorite. It's our favorite. Wilmington. Wilmington. <laughs> yeah. Uh, great sound. Great stuff. Great community. You know, you can't go wrong, so... I feel like this lineup has been perfect because um, Stephen and Micah sing a lot about their love together and we do the same. <laughs> <laughs> I think naturally when you're in a band with someone that you're in a relationship with, a lot of your music tends to be just an outflow of that experience <laughs> together. And so um, this song's called Five Minutes. Because Courtney is very impatient. Um, that's, that's I think we see things differently, but that's line. also part of being in a relationship. No, it's, like it's fine. Courtney's very impatient, period. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me five minutes to answer. <laughs> no, I was saying you gave me five minutes. No, no, but this, we know what the truth yeah, is. All right, yeah. well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll take a poll at the end. Okay. Give me five minutes, give me five minutes to say everything, say everything. She told me don't worry, she told me don't worry, just say what you mean. I don't know what I mean, we got all the right pieces in all the right places I know. tells me you know you don't stand a chance in me way baby I'm chasing you baby I'm chasing you come on and let me through baby I'm chasing so much um <clears throat> you know I think like Stephen and Micah said sometimes especially for me I think the best way for me to communicate is through my music especially when I'm going through something really feeling something big in my body and I just don't know how to always put words to that and music helps me to do that and so years ago I was um 
I've always just had a big bleeding heart. I've always felt like a lot of empathy and compassion for people, almost to a fault for myself sometimes. And when I turned 18, I went to college. I went to a class. We were talking about, you know, just just like the problems in the world. And we were kind of like talking through empathy and how to have compassion for people and how to... Um, Try to <coughs> put yourself in other people's shoes. Yeah, like know? understanding diversity and different people's experiences in the world. And when we walked out of class, someone said something that just struck me like, wow, this, like, this message did not hit that person the way that it hit me. And I didn't, I couldn't understand that, how people could be so crass and so like cruel. And so I wrote this song called Change. And I wrote this song when I was 19. And I think every time we sing it, it feels more, more relevant. relevant. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, we can all cry together <laughs> and have hope together yeah. over the state of the world. <laughs> leaks from the mouths of our friends, but our minds have been filled with indifference, so we sit back, relax, and pretend it doesn't exist, and we live in mansions while God's in a tent, so we build him a house and try to box him in, some think we earn the grace we're given, we misunderstand it. Thank you. 
Thank you. All right, Courtney, are you ready to get angry? It's about as angry as I get. You were so empathetic in that last song, but now you got to real, <laughs> you know, real This mad. is like fake anger. Yeah. I, so this story is, I'm sure a lot of you have heard this. You guys are mostly friends and family out here. Um, but we used to live in this terrible Oh, we had like apartment. cockroaches just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if you're, if you're not careful, if you just sit your leg out too long, one might just walk right over Eep. you. Yeah. I mean, it was awful, but it's a rite of passage. It, I feel it, like everyone has to be in a terrible, terrible apartment at least once in their life. It did its job. You yeah. Know? We lived. We survived. Um, all that to say, we had a, a, an upstairs neighbor who, who was a drug dealer. And so, uh, you know, we were, <laughs> we were like, oh, this, this shady people coming in and out. He was so nice, though. But we loved you know? him. Yeah. We were, so like, nice. we were like, this guy's up to no good, but we really like him a lot. And yeah. he, he worked for a music venue in town. And so he would, he would come down sometimes. I'd be like, hey, I got a new song. You want to hear it? He's like, yeah, shoot it. And so I'd, I'd play my songs to him. He's like, I like your music, but I think you need to write something with a, like you're a little more sweet. grit. You're too it's just sweet. too soft all the time. Like, write something. Get angry about something. I was like, I don't have anything to be angry about. He's like, well, find someone to be angry on their behalf. And so I thought, man, I got some friends who are going through a really hard time right now in their relationship. Be careful being friends with musicians, okay? Yeah, because it's true. <laughs> you never know you might just what they're going to turn into a song. Mm -hmm. So they're going through this terrible time in their relationship. And Quinn and I think for sure these two are well, never so going to make it. Well, so bad that, like, you know, one of them stays with us for, like, two weeks. Like, you know, it's bad. So we're like, oh, they're never making it. Well, they're married, happily. Been married for about four years now. And uh, we found out this past year that they actually know that this song is written Not about this past year. Like, within the fast, past <laughs> few weeks, yeah. we were like, they came down to visit us. And we were like, all right, we've been holding this in for years. But we have a confession. Tired is is about you guys. And they were like, "Yeah, we, we know, we know, we know." We're like, <laughs> "We've we've known for a long time. We just thought we'd let you have it." <laughs> like what? So, so you know. Anyway, this is called tired. Um, maybe on a hopeful note, if your relationship's in a bad place, there's hope. There's hope. Like, I don't think it's much better than or worse than this no, song. <laughs> and they sure. came out. They got married. So. <laughs> I've been waiting all night up for you. You never call me, but you won't say it through. And I'm so tired. I'm so damn tired of you. Give me something, but you can't have it back. Cause you don't get it and you don't think that I'm so tired I'm so damn tired of you I just can't walk away, no I just can't let you know the things I'm thinking It's not easy being justified in my anger because you've been telling lies and let's not fight. I don't want you anymore. I just can't walk away, no. I just can't let you know the thing.
Thank you. All right, so um, we actually just released a new single not too long ago. Um, it's a very country song, and uh, actually from Voice and Pen the last time, uh, we met this guy in town named Ken. Kim. Why did I say Ken? Sorry, Kim. Um, and he is a great writer. He just has like, I mean, like hundreds of story songs, just lyrics. And uh, he found us at Voice and Pen, and he came up to us, you know, like a week later and said like, hey, I, I love your voices together. I want to work with you guys. Would you be interested in looking at some of my words and maybe writing a song to it? And we were like, yeah, that sounds fun because, you know, it's always nice as a musician and artist to kind of mix it up a little bit. So he brought us a bunch of lyrics, and we went through them and flipped through them. And, and then this song, Whiskey Remembers, just kind of, we both kind of liked it. We both love whiskey. We both like the sentiment of the song, um, and we just thought it was a really well-written song. So uh, we released it not too long ago, and it's called Whiskey Remembers, and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. You can find it everywhere. <laughs> also, the only merch item we have tonight are shot glasses that say Whiskey Remembers, so <laughs> that's true. No. Get some whiskey, buy a shot glass, and drink it later. are a great audience. Thank you so much for being here. It's so good to see all of you as well. It's actually really hard to see all of you. <laughs> really? As well. Yeah. You have bad eyes. I think you got, you got a I have a different light at me, okay? No, this no, I've got this wide brim hat helping me out. Yeah, you know okay, what that's saying? what it is. You, know <laughs> you should put my hat on. I always on. got my hat. 
to help me out. What do we got next? Let's see. Oh, you know what? This is this is cool. Well, so that's um, much better. You know, Mike and Steven understand this. You know, you always have a first song that you write together. Well, Courtney and I's writing relationship is a little weird. So when we first started doing music together, it was in 2015. And uh, we used to do like open mics. Technically our first time was 2012. That's true. Let's but bring it back. Not, you know, not, not really, because you were still shy and like bedroom writing at that point. Till I like, I'm a pusher. I pushed you out, you know. Um, and then in 2015, we actually started doing music together. And we used to go to this open mic all the time, and it was awesome, it was fun, and Courtney would play like some of her original stuff, and I did you know, some covers and a couple of like my originals that I wrote by myself. And then we met this guy who ran the open mic, and he had this ditty, and he was like, I have this ditty, but I don't know what to do with it. And Courtney loved it and fell in love with it, and she was like, can we write to it? And he was like, yeah. Well, this turned into the first writing experience we ever had together, and we wrote it together almost instantly. I mean, it was like in 45 minutes. And then we after like, that... You know, I wonder if we, we should just write about the experience of like, you know, what it's like to fall in love. I, can't, I cannot talk and play this at the same time. I can sing and play it, but talk and play it, a totally different ballgame. So I'm just going to stop playing it. Um, we, we, we were thinking like, we should write a song about what it's like to fall in love and know that that love wasn't right for you. You know, that first love that's like, it was beautiful, but it wasn't right. It, it definitely was not my forever love. And then to look back on it a little bit fondly, but like appreciate it. Yeah. 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 And this is called Say Goodbye. Swing, waiting for you to come home to me. Sunsets in the day is past. You're gone, gone, gone. And we are falling down. Took my heart and hit the ground. And I know we can't go back. I just want to say. Thank you. A kazoo felt right on that song. 
It was kind of childlike, you know. <laughs> well, I figure if you can't play a trumpet, you might as well play a kazoo. They're the same, really. Totally the same, yeah. <laughs> I mean, same skill level involved for sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> We haven't played this song in a long time. Oh, you can do it. Yeah. Just think, um, Jesus stole my car. Oh, you're skipping. Okay, she's playing that game. All right, that's fine. My eyes are bad. Well, listen. While and we're Quinn at forgot it. to print the set list, so it's not my fault. Yeah, well. While we're at it, though, I, you know, Micah, you, you mentioned being a little flighty, right? Courtney is like the wind. It's like, if you I've blow... Grown, I've grown into myself. And then it will blow, and then and you're not sure, and you're gonna... Like, you know the, the plastic bag that Katy Perry talks about? It's blowing you around? That's, that's Courtney, so... Yeah, especially when you met me. Yeah, she had to write this song... To make me understand that that wasn't the case in this relationship. Right. Okay. She was like, no, I promise. I promise. Just here's a song I wrote for you. This is this one. It's my secret weapon. If you fall in arms open wide. If you rest in Help you to Kiss the lonely goodbye. We can 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 k
Thank you. You want to go back? All right. Well, how much how much time do we have left? We have 20 minutes. Oh, okay. All right, good. Good. There we go. We're good. Just checking. You know, like half of these songs are about you. That's okay. No, I'm good with that. Thank you. <laughs> I always wanted someone to write songs about me, and then Courtney came along. I was like, yeah. It's the only reason. She was like, I got the one. <laughs> Hats never stay on. I don't know if it's because I have a big head or what. Yep. But they just like slide off. That's what it is. See, I have a tiny head and mine just suctions on. <laughs> so if I don't do it like this, 
it looks like this. That makes no sense, so I just... But then it really stays. No problems. You're getting a window into getting ready with Courtney Lennon Quinn, right? Yeah. The only time I have a problem is like Marilyn Monroe if it's a windy day and then it just goes... You know, but that's it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we got a few more for you. Thanks again so much for having us voice and pen and live at Ted's and Fall Lift. Thank you guys so much for being here. We love you guys so much. You're so incredible. The stories you tell are, whew. I almost like had like a whole cry session up here before we started, but then I thought better of it because people are like here for entertainment. So anyway. <laughs> But we'll talk later and cry together. It's fine. I mean, who knows what we're here for? Maybe we're here for a little therapy session. <clears throat> you know, you don't know what people need out there. That's true. That's what true. What do you guys need? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's needed, right? Yeah. Uh, so this is one of our newest singles too. We released this not too long ago, uh, back in the summer. Um, and this is a very different genre. Honestly, Courtney wrote it. She just had this like groove going on, and she was like, "I want to write to it," and I was like, "I think it's awesome." But she was a little nervous at first to put it out because it's a little different than our other stuff. And I was like, who cares? Just put out what you feel. And like people will like it or they don't. You know, whatever. It's our music. Who cares? Just do it. So we did it. And uh, the song's called Found My Love. And we really have grown to love it quite a bit. So here we go.
They say these are the best days You don't know it till they're gone And I move with you like the rock in my step Anywhere you go, I'm home I think I might have found my love I think that I'm in love Oh, you know I do I think I might have found my love Oh, I think that I love you got two more songs for you guys tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us. You know, this space is so special to, to us, and honestly, I feel like I could speak on behalf of any musician ever of all time. Agreed. To have a listening room, people who are sitting attentively listening to your songs and your stories, y'all don't know how much that means to us to be able to share in a space where we have your attention. Um, we play a lot of bars, you know? We, <laughs> yeah. play, we play a lot of crowded rooms for people didn't At even times, know there was going to be music. We think that people are cheering for us, and we realize they're cheering for the Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> it happens all it the happens, time. You know, so. so it means a lot. We, we thank you guys for you know, paying to be here to be here at all. And um, I know Fall Left appreciates it as well. And uh, yeah. Thank you. That's all I had. This one is uh, coming out soon. It's kind of an old, new song. And what I mean by that is that Courtney wrote this a long time ago. She actually put it out as um, herself on her solo album in 2017. And uh, we liked it so much as a duo collaboration with our band collaborating on it too that we decided that we wanted to re-release it. Um, and it's kind of a special song to me because when I turned 30, now you all know that I'm 37. <coughs> uh, wow, that was a long time ago. Uh, I was having like a it. crisis when I was turning 30, so imagine where I'm at now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I was having a crisis, and we went backpacking with some of our dearest, dearest friends, and we escaped the world, and it was one of the best things we ever did. And Courtney got tired of me complaining about how I was turning 30. <laughs> I mean, in her defense, I was 25, so what yeah. did I have to say about it? <laughs> but she wrote this wonderful song, and it's called Side Roads, and it's basically about, you know people tell you all kinds of things. They tell you you're too old for this and you're too old for that and that's too extreme and too dramatic and you're never going to make it, blah, 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 blah. And you can hear those things and listen to them and actually believe them. And part of my life, I did. I believed some of those people and I took some steps back and I tried other things, but then I ultimately realized, like, this is where I want to be. This is where I feel ha at home. And this is the space of my heart that I want to share with the world. And... Um, this, sorry, whoa, that wasn't, that surprised me. Um, this song is very special because she gave me the courage in, in writing these words like, who cares what people are telling you? Just do it. Just do it. 
and you'll figure it out, and we have, and we, we figure it out every day, and it's always a battle, and always fun, and always an adventure, and the song's called Side Roads, so keep taking the side roads in life, you guys, that's all I have to say. Turn 30, just pack it up and count the cost. But I don't believe them anyway. My life is full and there's things I've yet to do today. So I'll just write my song. Watch the leaves fall, the river moving right along. And ooh, I know I'm taking time. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we got one more quick song for you guys. Oh, this has been a great audience. Thank you guys so much for being here. Seriously, thank you again, Voice and Pen and Fall Lift and uh, Live at Ted's, obviously. We love you guys so much. And for all of you coming out, like Courtney said, it means so much to us. It means the world. For you to be up here and just show up is one thing, but also for you to buy tickets is another. So we really appreciate you coming out and supporting live music. And local also, music. since you guys are here, we know that you are lovers of local music, and so we're going to ask you to do a few free things. If you guys could follow The Voice and Pen and Live at Ted's, this is one of the best things you can do for any small business or especially, you know, a, a local musician. It helps us so much, and it's, it's free, and it helps us get our music out there. It helps us book shows, believe it or not. You can follow us and then hide us later. You know yeah. what I mean? You don't you even know, have hide to us watch from your us. Feed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, follow follow Voice and Pen. Follow Live at Ted's. Please follow Fall Lift. Um, follow us if you enjoy the music. We'd love we'd love to stay connected with you guys. We've got some merch up there. I know Fall Lift's got some merch up there. So we have one merch item. Up yeah, there. we have a merch up there. Shot glass. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's going crazy. <laughs> Thank you guys again for being here. We're gonna play one last song for you guys. 
for you guys, and this is called Fire. Um, this is a little love song that we wrote. <laughs> we always other. save it to the end. See, this is our trick. This is our trick. We know you want to hear it, so we make you wait. <laughs> Nobody's leaving early. No way. <laughs> know the word sing along that would mean more to us than you even know i know fall fall lift covered this song once and we almost oh, peed our pants oh we did we did actually i did actually see Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We're Courtney Lynn and Quinn. We had Fall Lift here earlier tonight. Please follow them. Um, wait, please. wait. Oh, before you finish your, your thank yous, which I appreciate, and we'll <laughs> okay. finish.
There's someone very important in the audience Ooh. tonight. My mother. I look just like her. Come here, Mom. Oh, come, come on, here. Come on, come, come on. on. Come yeah, on. come on. Come on, Sing Sarah Joe. strawberry jo. wine with me. Sarah Joe, come on. <laughs> come on now. Don't be shy. You're not shy. Do you guys see the resemblance? Listen, yes or no? I look just like her, right? <laughs> she cannot deny me. It's not possible. Also, I get my vocal talents from her as well. She's a singer. Yeah, 100%. So guess what? Her birthday is tomorrow. So guess what? We're all going to sing happy birthday to my mom. Are you guys ready? Her name is Sarah. And if you really like her, you call her Sarah Jill. So we're all going to sing. Here we go. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sarah Jo. Happy birthday to you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. She's only 30. <laughs> that makes Quinn a newborn. <laughs> Negative seven newborn. <laughs> oh, anyway, thank you guys for joining along. Happy birthday, Mom. We love you. All right. Happy birthday. Yeah. Love that. You guys are amazing. Fall lift, you're amazing. That was such a such a great show. Um, every time I see you guys, it's something different, um, which is like I, a couple of songs you sang I had never heard. Change I had never heard. That was great. Um, you guys do a beautiful job of, of talking about the creation of your songs and the songwriting part of it, and that's that's just I love I love that. That's like what it's all about. So. Um, I know you mentioned your. Are you putting anything out? I know you just put um, whiskey remembers out. Do you, what is what's next for you, like release so, wise? So I kind of touched on it, and then I got sidetracked <laughs> with my side roads uh, choking up story. Um, side roads is actually being re-released as a full band okay. as the duo Courtney Lynn and Quinn. So that will be coming out. But before we do that, we're actually also re-releasing Fire. Uh, we had the honor and privilege of working with a Nashville studio that just had very in incredibly talented um, studio musicians and mixing and mastering and We haven't told quality. anybody this yet, by the way. You guys are the first you people to know that we're re-releasing Fire. Yeah, yeah. So Exclusive. we're re-releasing it. It is a little different because we had some, you know, creative development in the studio, um, but we're really proud of it and we're really excited about it and we're just nervous to release such an important song again. Um, so it's coming out soon though, probably at the end of May. We you got a few can, and like yeah. them, you know, we got a season in. And then I actually wrote a song for the first time in a long time, just me, and then Courtney kind of helped develop it a little bit on guitar, but I wrote most of the song, even the guitar parts. And uh, that's going to be coming out at the end of this summer. It's called Slow Train. And you guys, it's about realizing that life doesn't always have to be bullet speed. Okay? We can take some breathers and some breaks and still get to the journey. It's my the fault. I'm all, I've always got Quinn at bullet speed. She can't keep up with me. <laughs> no. Opposite the direction. People that are laughing know me. <laughs> Opposite direction. But anyway, we've got stuff coming out. Please follow us and pay attention because we do have new music coming. <laughs> So I was thinking so I was just thinking so much while I'm watching watching you and I'm like, what do I want to ask them at the end, you know? One and one of the things I was curious about with the Whiskey Remembers song, um, the kind of dynamics you guys throw in there with the the harmonies and then kind of like the echoing of each other. Was that was that all you guys? Because I know Kim wrote that song and you guys just did all the um the music, and then kind of created the whole way that song was going to be sung out, right? Yeah, that song, like, sometimes Quinn leaves the house, and then she comes back an hour later, and I'm like, hey, I wrote 15 songs while you were gone. <laughs> it's real. It's true. I don't know. How That's dramatic. But in this instance, Quinn left the house. She came back. We had been sitting on these, like, lyric sheets forever, just, like, multiple, multiple ones that we liked, and I, we both really gravitated towards Whiskey Remembers, yeah. and I feel like that's the one, like, I really want to try to write to. I've never written a song this way in my life. I always start with the music first. I'm always like, let's find a guitar progression that sounds good, and then I'll like mumble a, a melody over it, and then I'll make the lyrics. So to start with lyrics first was like complete opposite of what I normally do. And this whole song just came out like 
rapid rapid speed. I had the lyrics in front of me. I wrote the the guitar and the melody together. And then when Quinn came home, she had all the ideas for the arrangement. So like that echo thing, that was all her. She's like, okay, cool. I like what you've got. Now let's add to now the let's dynamics. add to this like build dynamics yeah. and. Um, yeah, I think it just came together really nicely. Yeah, it was a really cool experience because, like she said, she's never written a song like that. So when I got home, I was impressed to see that she had kind of laid out the format of the song. And then I was like, ooh, I think, like, there's some repetition here. We could, like, really make it grow by doing this. And then in this one, we could do some harmonies on a higher, lower, and then, ec you know, like, we did some production work together. And I think that mm -hmm. was really fun for us. So. Yeah, and the Nashville studio, they just, like, I mean, that's their bread and butter is a country music song. So they picked this song up and, like... <laughs> Ran we didn't it. have to give yeah. them any notes at all. They were just like, yeah, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so you've got the releases coming out, and then you've got, do you have any other big shows coming out? What? Where can we see you next? Do you have that lined up? We are taking a, uh, uh, a breathe. No, because we're we, still playing. Yeah, um, we're still we've playing. we got a festival and We're still playing. Raleigh we've got some up. shows coming up, but I think, I think this is actually a good message that sometimes it's okay to just breathe and take a moment for yourself and, like, we have a lot. I still have paint on my arm. I just realized that in the middle of the show because we're <laughs> renovating a house. We've just got like, you know, we don't just do music. We yeah, do so much. I started real estate. We're renovating a house. Uh, we also Airbnb our house. We're also flipping a camper right now. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things that yeah. we do. And uh, uh, we're also working on a boat. Yeah, that's a personal project, <laughs> though. So that kind of gets to the wayside. But music is still our passion and our love, and we're still focused on it. But we kind of felt like this past year we got a little overwhelmed and we stopped loving it a, a lot because it, it was so overwhelming and so like burning the candle at both ends too much and so we kind of took a breather and it's been a really good decision for us and we're still out there we have a festival in Raleigh coming up and we've got oh uh, we're ramping up again but yeah. we're coming off of a slow season and yeah we've, we've got, got some shows we've got shows summertime. coming up but uh just yeah. keep an eye on our socials we do we try to do a really good job of keeping people posted on that front and uh, we're out there yeah, for sure. Well, the energy was great, and I can tell you guys love it when you're playing. So um, I think the 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 rest thing is good. I think I think maybe we can all relate to that. Let's sl slow down a little bit before we you know ramp back up for the summertime. Slow train. <laughs> slow train. It's coming out. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So follow them at Courtney Lynn and Quinn. Follow at Fall Lift. Follow at Voice in the Pen. Live at Ted's. Um, thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, amazing show. I think so. I know everybody else agrees. Um, check out the merch table. Um, we got a tip jar up here if you feel like you want to put a little tip in there. And uh, thank you so much for coming out. Have a good night. Thank you again to Voice and Pen. Thank you guys so much for having us. Also, if you haven't heard of Emily Burdett, you should listen to her music as well. She's out there and awesome. <laughs>